hi everybody it's Anne here from Positively Papercraft <laughs> and I'm back with another video now today it's a 3d project and as the title says um spooky or festive because you can make it for either and I suppose even different occasions as well now the one that I'm going to show you was my prototype but I made this one into a Halloween um style now the top lifts off and inside I've got a little tea light which this one changes colour and you can't see because it's not dark but it looks so effective when it's dark and I just heat embossed a Halloween stamp I don't have many actually put some little dies on the bottom's made from chipboard um, but we're going to do a festive one what we're going to do add some little bits and you know just make it differently so not the actual structure though but yeah it kind of reminds me as well of a tombstone maybe so that was a pumpkin die set that I have which I thought looked quite nice but yeah you could even sort of decorate it as a tombstone and maybe fill it with sweets or candy or whatever you want to do but I think it's really nice so we're going to make this now I've got most of my bits ready um, we'll just go through it step by step so the, fir the base your chipboard or you could just get a couple of pieces of thick card and glue them together um, six by four inches now I've took a piece of patterned paper which it doesn't really matter the size I suppose as long as it fits this is eight inches by six inches um, and I've already done the little corners so I know that this is just ready to stick on here all right there's my base sorry if you can hear rattling and stuff <laughs> the cat is just wanting to play with everything on the desk so I've got that now you need to make this sort of box base here and um, now let me get organized with the sizes because I've got them wrote down so the base should be seven and a half by ten inches that's what the card would be so I should have that here which should be this piece yeah seven and a half by ten so we need to score that so I'm going to score the short side first at one inch then I'm just going to rotate it and I'm going to do one inch again okay now you need to score the long side at one inch four and a half five and a half and nine all right so that's that just gonna one end it doesn't matter which one you're gonna completely remove these squares and then the middle section you are gonna make these into little tabs same with the end one make these into little tabs and 
you're going to do some crafting kitty <laughs> so that's what you will have and it will basically just fold up and be a little sort of box that doesn't open or anything like that so we can glue it together So the little panels which Kitty is lying on I've used the same paper and I've just matte and like sort of matted them with some Miri card. I'll have the sizes on my blog for these. Okay so that is your little sort of box. Um, now your little chipboard piece you will glue this on to here or however you want to attach it okay I'm going to go ahead and do it now because well just then it's done isn't it it's out the way so you can use just glue or glue and tape it's up to you Okay, so there's our base. Now I'm going to clean this away and we're going to make the actual main box. All right, so I'm going to move on to the main part, like the main part of the, the box. You need two pieces of card, one which is 12 by nine inches, the other is five by five and a half. And um, we don't need the five by five and a half at the minute. So the larger one on the long side the 12 inch side you want to score at half an inch three and a half inches eight and a half inches and then eleven and a half inches turn it to the short side and you want to score at half an inch and three and a half inches and you will end up with that now this is going to be the back of it and I'll show you in a minute why I've done it that way so if we fold fold and burnish it first is these two this little square and rectangle here remove them right cut up here and make little tabs out of this and just remove that bottom one as well so you will have that we need this bottom one I'm just going to mite it in there a little bit you will have that okay as I said this is going to be the back so what's going to happen is it's going to fold up like this and it's going to be this okay now the reason I've done it this way is because the front here this is going to be the front which will stick on our little our little tabs here Okay. Now that's because you can do whatever you want. Cut you obviously you need to cut some kind of aperture out the front if you're having it as like a, a sort of lantern. Um now doing it this way means you can get it through a die cut machine. If that was the front, there's no way you're gonna get that through. A die cut machine to cut out there unless you've got a, an A4 and not everybody does I mean I do but I'm trying to keep it for you know so as many of you can make it so that's what we need to do now so we need to pick whatever you are going to have cut out 
another thing to do as well is just take a little corner piece from there it just stops any bits sticking over so I'll show you what we're going to do this time I've got some bits and pieces cut out to decorate so today I'm going to use this beautiful die you get loads of bits to it and honestly it's gorgeous and this is going to be my decoration on the front um, it's this die here um, you get that piece then you get a circle a sort of pierced circle and then you get the bit in the middle I have these on my website um, but of course you can use whatever you've got but I've been dying to use this because it is beautiful so what I'm going to do so I've got the front here now obviously you need some vellum to put at the back but what I'm going to do is I am going to cut this die again from here now bear in mind we've got a lid so you want to have it as far down as possible so virtually at the bottom and I'm going to cut that out and I'm going to show you why so I'll cut it out and I'll be back all right so I have cut oh, I'm sitting on the cat <laughs> I've cut that out of there which can see there I've cut that out so I've got a piece of vellum I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to glue the vellum onto there and then turn it back over and then the one that I've cut out of silver is going to get glued I did have this right because to line it back up but I don't know which way it was now is that it yeah so I will glue that back in to here and then obviously layer it up the way I'm having it and then when we put our light in it will shine through the vellum from here which I think is going to look beautiful so I am going to glue this in here and I'll be back all right so there we go isn't that beautiful and as you can see obviously you, you're still going to be able to see the beautiful light or whatever lights we put in which i'm going to show you some that i have so i'm going to glue this together so i want glue on here yeah is I'm gonna cut some of that away from there actually so we have that so I'm gonna do it how am I gonna do it I think um, yeah I'm just gonna go for glue down all of it at once I think but you can do it in sections if you want that is beautiful so anyway on here it should all match up we we have created this beautiful sort of fancy lantern box whatever it is that is gorgeous so this will now go on to oh my god this is going to be so nice i knew in my head what i wanted it to be like oh wow i will be having this displayed for christmas for definite so that will go on there um we might as well just glue that straight on oh be wary about cutting as much as I did off them tabs just now because I've made a little hole there so be careful but I think I'm going to cover it with some 
little bits and pieces anyway now another thing that I'm going to do different to what I did to the last one just check that that's pretty even So with this one, I just put some little cobwebs and bits and pieces. What I've decided to do for this one to make it even sort of really nice is, do you remember last week we used this gorgeous die? I've done the same again. I've cut it out of white card. I've backed it onto silver mirror card because I thought what would be nice plus it'll be an extra reinforcement is these are going to go one's going to go on the side and then I've got one for the back and I've got one for the other side so I thought yeah this looks so nice so it's just the same die we used last week I still have some of these for sale as well if you want one but as I said just use whatever you want or whatever you've got. Oh, isn't that beautiful? That is so nice. So, it's not quite stuck. gorgeous now we're going to move on to the lid and this bit we're going to do different because we're going to put ribbon in it before we put it together so that it'll have like a nice little sort of ribbon handle on the top but yes that is absolutely gorgeous so it does, that's the wrong lid isn't it <laughs> so i'll get sorted for the lid and i'll be back okay I'm back. I made a huge mistake. I don't know if you noticed in the video, but it was when I finished the last clip and I saw it. What I had done was stuck this the wrong way. So it was right up here and I wanted it down here to allow for the lid. So I've literally had to tear it off, make another one. But thankfully I managed to get it off without too much damage apart from that I had to make another so that's what I said make sure whatever you're having it's further down to allow for the lid because if I had it like that the lid was just going to cover most of the design oh, devastated right so you need again two pieces of card um, the piece for the actual lid seven and one eighth by five and a quarter dead easy just score all four sides at one inch the piece for the top of the lid eight and a half by six and a half score the short side at one inch on each end score the long side at one inch three and three quarters four and three quarters and seven and a half i'm gonna rub my little measurements out <clears throat> it's the same as what we did before the lid is easy and the the lid top is exactly the same as this base but I will quickly show you the lid because I've also made some little mats and layers for the lid and the lid top 
and then as I said we need to be putting our ribbon handle in the top as well before we glue it together and stuff so that it's all concealed inside the little box so that's the lid top the lid that will just glue together like that and then I've got all my little mats and layers here yeah so they're for there and so on all the way around um, and then the lid top show you what we are going to do we're going to cut this exactly the same as we did with the base one but once I've put the top paper on I'm going to punch a hole in it so cut one of them away completely together as I said exactly the same so this will be my top for example I've made a mat and layer for the very top so I know that I can glue this on now to show you what I'm going to do for the ribbon silver ribbon what I'm going to use is my little X cut sort of you punch down this is brilliant actually I love this thing um, <clears throat> I need a uh, something to do it on I'm gonna fold a bit of scrap black card up so I know that I want it the hole in the middle of here so I'm just gonna eyeball it and I'm gonna go for there yep that's it hole straight in these things are great <clears throat> so I would then take my ribbon we don't need a lot it's probably way too much I'm gonna slot it through Yeah. you see so I only want I don't want it too long yeah probably about that and all I'm going to do is literally just tie a knot because this is going to be a sealed box so nobody would see it anyway okay and there we go that's the top so I'm going to glue this together and then I'm going to put the rest of my mats and layers on the same for the lid and I'll be back all right so I've done the same as basically what I did with the base that's our little you know closed box for the ribbon that's the lid which I've matte and layered that and then that is going to glue on the top of here and basically that's it it's obviously up to you how you decorate it or whatever so I want to show you some lights as well get this stuck on first um, 
I didn't grab any more but I've got these are the coloured ones but I've got them in white as well so I might I'm not sure but I have these too so I used these last year for cards so that is the just the regular one then I've got the bright white so there's the white the bright white and then I've also got multicolored and the wired so you what you could do is get some little glue dots and just put them you know like around the all the way around your design or whatever and um, so I have some of these on my website I don't have loads but I can get more and um, you get the batteries as well with them so I'll put the link for them but yeah you can with them being little wires you can maneuver them anywhere you want them so I might put some in mine I'm not sure yet so the lid should fit it did before <laughs> there we go now isn't that just absolutely beautiful that really is just something else that is gorgeous oh, my word that's turned out better than I thought it was going to and imagine on a night when you've got your little light in oh wow oh that is beautiful in a way it reminds me of like like an old clock like a mantle clock or something even though it's not but oh, that's beautiful and then I don't know if I'm gonna I don't really know if I'm gonna put anything on it you know because what I could do is put some little flowers on the top with some little foliage or something because I, I think no they're way too big way too big but I could put some on the front I don't know I'm gonna quickly decide and I'll be back no I've decided against nothing I just love the simpleness of it and the elegance of it so I'm gonna keep it plain oh that is one of I think my favorite pieces I may have done this year that is beautiful it's just so elegant there's the Halloween one um, I will get some pictures with some lights in but it'll be all on my blog with all the sizes as well as the links for the dyes and the lights and things I've used so thanks for watching take care and bye for now